if what if, just for instance, you know, if what you if I say this that what you're searching for is right here now. Well say what you're searching for, because it can't be something in the future. If it's only in the future and it's not here, it can't be real. It means that it has some condition. You, you follow what I mean by that? If yes, it's real, yes. it must be real now as well. Yes. So if it's real now, and now is all we have, and everything you're seeing is something else, then don't touch something else. And leave everything that you can see, you can leave. Just something. Leave, 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 leave. Even, even you, you leaving, leave, leave. <laughs> yes? And what is here then? Again, if what you if you say, but I'm searching for, and some things keep getting in the way, and I, and I say, but I remind you, but the truth must be here, no? Because if it's not here now, and it's only something later, then how do you know it won't be gone again? Mm-hmm. So it must be here now. It must be here now. But it cannot be here as something. And then you say different things keep getting in the way. Then don't then don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. And don't be attached to not touching also. <laughs> okay. Don't touch anything. And then when 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 you can see things, but don't touch simply means don't be involved in any of them. When you're not involved in any of that. Then you will know the truth. You will have found it. Because if you're waiting for something that might come in the future, when it comes, it won't be it. If it's something that comes, it won't be it. It might be its perfume, but it won't be it. Because anything you're waiting for that you can perceive as an it, it's not it. Before even you arise, it is here. <coughs> because you can, you can, if you don't touch anything on the outside of your eyes or for the senses, and then behind the scenes of the eyes, you know, you close your eyes even, but you can see you close your eyes, you can perceive you've closed your eyes. You can watch your breath and feel your breath. And the one who is perceiving the breath, who is in the state of functioning as perceiving, even this one is not, even this one is not this one. And even that which knows you are not this one, the one who knows. Even that you are not. <laughs> Contem- <coughs> contemplate this. <coughs> so even the one you are speaking, oh, this, and my mind, uh, the mind you are that is making all this noise, you are not. The one who is being troubled by the noise making the making all uh, notice, this one you are not. Also. That which knows that the mind is making noise and troubling the person, the one who knows that this also you are not. Mm. When it's left all these things and only the breath is watched, the watcher of the breath you are not. <laughs> but that which causes the breath to be seen, but it doesn't breathe, that you are. The one who is living this life and having good days and bad days, and this morning was so great until lunchtime something happened. This you are not. The mind that is saying you are never going to get it, you are not good enough, that you are not. The one the mind is speaking to, they say you are not good enough, that you are not. That which is aware of the mind speaking and the one the mind is speaking to, that you are not. That which is aware of this body 
and the breath and the senses that you are not. <laughs> that which causes the breath to be perceived, but itself does not breathe nor depend upon breath that you are. My, my, this is my, my sister has come. Another sister has come. In whom has my point is landed? Thank you. What is the religion of that one? What is the gender of that one? What is heaven or hell for that one? Where is worthiness or unworthiness for that one? Where is heaven or hell for that one? Where is evolution for that one? Where is forgiveness for that one? When are you going to reach that one? <laughs> and you who? <laughs> now you have heard the best that words can do, beyond which they cannot go. And the words have exhausted their usefulness. What have you done? Guruji, hmm? it seems that sometimes it's just a matter of fully accepting your words and just not following anything else. The doubts, the, they come, but just fully trusting what you say, yeah. it sinks so deeply. <laughs> this is the most perfect mirror. The mirror does not give you an opinion. You cannot want more than this, because there is no more than this. <laughs> there is only more fooling around, more postponement, more excuses, more deception, more delusion. But there cannot be more true. I trust only you. <laughs> now, where is even a place for trust, even? <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm taking away every excuse you have, every delay. I came in front of you. I don't have a watch. I'm not working with time. It's enough, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay.